So we're going to work on this ratios and rates. Again, it's the last thing we've got in this unit. And anytime that you see the word ratio or rate, basically it's just a fraction, or it's just we're going to be doing a little bit of dividing. So for instance, it says, our football team outscored their opponents by a ratio of 3 to 1. Give me the possibility for a final score for the game that fits the given. Okay, here's what we're going to do. If the ratio is 3 to 1, okay, so when you're playing football, for instance, what do you get for a touchdown? Six points, okay, and a lot of time, most of the time at least, maybe not in high school, but everywhere else, they kick the extra point and get seven. So here's what I would do. If a TD with my extra point is going to get me seven, all I'm going to do is multiply each of these by seven, and that would give me a possibility of the score. So three times seven would be 21. One times seven would say if we're going to score at a rate of three to one, that we could end up with a score like 21 to 7. Or if you did it by a field goal, it might be 9 to 3 or something like that. But it's the idea that that ratio or that fraction's there. At Taco Bell, 22 people waiting in line. There are three registers open. What's the ratio of people to registers? That's all I'm doing with this. I'm finding a way, and what this is going to allow me to do when we get to the next part of this tomorrow is going to be, it's going to allow me to figure out specific numbers. So then I'd look and say, well, if there's 150 people waiting, how many registers would I need? And we'll be able to figure that out. But today we're just taking it easy, just setting up these ratios. Okay. So using the numbers from the previous problem, what's the ratio of whatever comes first, you write first, so in this case, they said the registers, so we'd write that first. And then it says two people, so I'm basically just flipping it around. Whenever you're doing a ratio, your main purpose is to take whatever value they give you, that goes first, whatever value is second, goes second. And you can write it like this, because this is the way it's written most of the time, or you also can write them as fractions. And if you're asked to find a value sometime, that might come in handy. So it's just something we need to think about a little bit. So as I kind of keep working my way down, remember to label your answer with the units given. Finding the unit rate. Okay. At a garage sale, you make $15 by selling six CDs. What's the unit rate for dollars? Dollars made, 15. Put my dollar sign there. On each CD, which came second. And here's why I want to put the labels. Because I'm actually going to find the answer this time. Because it says there's six CDs. I'm just using the numbers that they give me there. Because once I have that, if I want to find out, you know, how much did I make on each one, I just do the dividing and I go, okay, I make $2.50 per CD. I've got to use the labels to understand what it is that I'm saying. I had 15 bucks, sold six CDs, I made 250 on each CD, not something else. And that's all I'm doing. So I'm making my ratio or my fraction and then just simplifying it. Let me shrink this for a second. On a science quiz, you earn 18 points on 12 questions. What's the unit rate? That's another way of saying ratio. For the number of points, 18 points, per question, 12 questions. And just like we did on that last one, I just take the fraction like I see it. Whoops, not 13 though. Let's try that again. Which means I get 1.5 points per question. You put the labels just like you did in the fraction. But that's what a whole thing of a ratio or a rate is. Let's see here. You can type a 225-word email to your friends in five minutes. What's your unit rate of 
words, 225 per minute. So when I divide that, I'm going to have you help me with the label this time. Okay, so I get 45, but what's my label going to be? 45 words. Exactly, 45 words per minute. Because that's how you figure out a rate in anything. If you're typing, if you're you know, doing math facts, whatever it happens to be, there's always a speed involved with it. So let's see here. My family of five eats 16 pieces of chicken every time we order. What's the average number of pieces? First thing goes first. Each person eats. Okay, let's see here. So you're like, it's just as simple as just doing this fraction thing every time. It is. But again, now what's my label going to be on this one? Is it 3.2 people per piece? Yeah, it stays in the same order. Okay, and that matters. I don't want to put 3.2 people per piece. That would be kind of strange. It would be like the pieces are eating the people. And you're like, how do you get 0.2 pieces for a person? That could be kind of tricky too. And we're just looking for like averages here. That's the whole idea of a rate or a ratio. It's just that we're looking for an average. So let's see here. Kanye West sells 95,500 copies of his new CD in five days. Again, first part. CDs and the number of days. And again, all I'm going to do is do the division. This time it comes out nice. 19,100 CDs per day. It's just staying in that order of things. And then the last one's just give an example of a rate and what it represents. So let's say I've got something like, now this is, you can do your own. You're probably not going to want to do the one I do. Mr. H, can grade, whoa, grade, uh, 18 homework checks in 47 minutes. What's my rate? Well. Let's see, per minute, 18, hmm. Now you're like, wait a minute, now what if, so I'm gonna do 18 divided by 47? I could, but let's see what happens if I do 18 divided by 47 here. Because usually I'd probably write it the other way, because I look at that and I'm like, 0.38, what? And I'd be like, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, what if I do it the other way and I say it's 47 minutes to do 18 of them? Let's see if that's something that's a little more sensible. Because normally when you get a really small decimal like that, okay, that makes more sense. So it takes me about 2.61 minutes per check. Okay, that, that, that's, a little, that's a little more reasonable. So, like I said before now, we've gotten this part taken care of. The back is the homework on this one. So all you have to do is like what we were doing on the front, okay? And again, label your paper so you know later what you're looking for because that makes life so much easier on these. If you know how many assignments there are and what when it goes in, you just find them when the homework check comes up and life's easy. So homework check six, number three, just this side. And again, the other page that you picked up the one with the equations, and again, some of you, if you haven't turned in a homework check or had a bad quiz or something, here's a way to get some points back. Work on that other sheet, just doing the equations like we've been doing and doing and doing with that. And even if you do some of it, you can get some points. 
But if you need to spend some time getting stuff done for your homework check, do that now, because I will leave you be for the rest of the time here.